Just the nine who keep us whole. Hey, Trick or Treat Guardians, what's up? It's Wolfthorn Lives. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I got a Festival of the Lost 2016 guide for you guys. It's that, that time of the year again in Destiny. There's a bunch of quests to do, a lot of items to get, and I can also show you guys where Zur is and everything he's got. Especially good for a hunter. I love this headpiece for the gives the golden gun, the extra shot, and the bad juju, the no reload gun. And uh, I recently just got back into Destiny. My friend gave me the PS4, uh, so a big shout out to him for that. And I bought myself the Destiny Collection, which of course includes all the DLC in one package, and that was sick. But that's not what this video is about. I just wanted to make a, a guide to put it all in one package, so it makes it easier for you to follow. And you can skip to any part if you've already done something and you wanted just some certain tips for it. But I'll be giving some help on how to do these things a little bit easier as well so this is the first part of the quest what you're gonna have to do is just go to Eva Levante and get your first empty satchel for candy this one you have to fill up by going to non playable characters in the tower and talking to them and they will just give it to you automatically but for future references guys if you want to fill these back up you're gonna have to get crucible kills or kills in PvE which is basically in the world like strikes and, and patrols whatever the case may be and that is how you will buy the masks to complete the quest lines that will be coming after this the first you have to do is go back to Eva Levante once you get this satchel full and she will give you the green common engram mask and you will have to wear that in the crucible and get 30 kills now this thing let me tell you it looks ridiculous but just bear with it just wear it and it lowers your light level it doesn't have any stats or anything so just keep that in mind you might want to do this in just a uh, regular basic crucible mode where light level doesn't count. So once you get your 30 kills in the crucible, you will have access to the next masks. And like I said, you have to fill up the satchels to get these. I made the mistake of not buying the mask with it and just getting them and I would get random consumables. But you don't want to do that, otherwise it'll take forever. But with the tiger mask, what you have to do is get three public events, gold tier. And for the cryptarch mask, you have to loot... 10 common or oh, 10 engrams it doesn't matter while wearing the mask the best place to do this of course Archon's Forge I mean you're getting constant engram drops all the time I just got one right here you could fill your satchels here in between if you do what I did and accidentally buy something you shouldn't and you have to get the mask so never worry about your progress resetting or anything like that and as far as I know this quest is not repeatable the only thing that is repeatable is the candy satchels so like I said guys the public events these do count and there's always a lot of people here so you don't really have to worry about it if you don't necessarily have a Seaver offering or whatever you'll get it done fast this part of the quest however is a lot harder because you have to do a heroic strike as the speaker and court of oryx as the traveler so when you're doing the heroic strikes like I mentioned before you're gonna pay at a lower light level and I didn't want to risk you know putting it on at the end of the strike and seeing if that would still count it so I just had it on the whole match the thing is the random people I was with were also wearing the mask so we're all low light level and a simple omnigal strike ended up taking forever so just sit back you know be calm about it and you'll get it done fast and court of orcs is easy you just have to do it with a stolen rune just keep that in mind now the next part this is the final part and you get the treasures of the lost where you will get any of these random gifts at the end once you open it up i really really wanted the wolf mask i mean obviously for this is wolf thorn lips i mean it'd be perfect for me right you would think so but of course my luck is terrible and i did not get that and like i said i don't know if i could repeat this quest or not to try and get it again and i really don't feel like spending money at the end of the day i ended up getting this terrible steven mask yeah so the final thing that i wanted to bring to you guys is the super black shader now this is easy if you remember from the earlier part I know I was speeding it up and I apologize for that but all you have to do is get the box of raisins from Eris Morn in the very beginning when you're filling up the candy satchel for the first time like I said earlier. You can do this at any time once you get the raisins so you don't have to do the mask and the whole trading line that I just told you before. At any time you can just bring this box of raisins and 25 motes of light to the speaker and he will give you the ascendant raisins and then you have to do a similar thing like the beginning of the video and bring it to a bunch of NPCs first you start with Savala and he will give you the exalted suite and you just keep going to the Cryptark, Amanda Holiday and then eventually back all the way near Savala to Cade 6 for the unchocolate 
back to Eris Morn and she will give you these bag of treats finally after or is it tricks yeah it is tricks you get a piece of celery but the super black shader will be in your inventory i just didn't have enough space so i had to get it from my postmaster and let me tell you something guys i've been rocking this thing the whole entire time since i got it it is awesome looking especially with my new gear all right that about wraps it up for me here and this guide i really hope it helped you guys out I'll be covering a lot more Destiny on my channel now that I have access to the game. So if there's anything you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Be safe this weekend and Monday for Halloween. Take care and peace.